Hi, this is Captain Rob with uh, the owner, John, and we're in the cockpit of the 26.5 Express Grady White. And what can you tell us about the, the helm station and what you have as far as electronics? Well, we have a windless anchor. Okay. Uh, we have a uh, remote spotlight, one million candle power remote spotlight. We have a um, stereo control with CD, volume, station, and um, presets. Presets. We have triple redundancy on all the electronics. What do you mean by triple redundancy? Well, we have Raytheon GPS RN300 up top. Okay. Which is a GPS and chart plotter. We have a Raytheon Pathfinder RL80C. That's a fish finder, radar, chart plotter. And we have a Raytheon L760, which is also a uh, chart plotter, radar, and fish finder. We're on the uh, port side with the owner, John. Hey, John, what do you really like about the uh, Grady Whites? I like its fishability. I've taken out as far as 100 uh, miles offshore. And, no uh, problem with the range? No problem with the range. I have range probably over 400 miles, so it's not, it, it, it's really not difficult. Uh, you know, I've had her high as five to six, five to eight. Uh, so she's a really seaworthy boat. The beam is nice and wide. Um, I, I mean, I really like its fish, fish ability. Uh, you know, I'm at this moment, I love to go out and fish. You know, it's definitely a canyon boat. You just gotta pick and choose your days, but, um, you know, she's definitely worthy. Definitely worthy. As we're walking down into the cockpit area, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rod holders. And then we have on the hard top, I'll just take this from with the sun today. Probably gonna have to take some pictures later. One, two, well, it even has a camera up there. With the outriggers. Everything looks great. I'm looking forward up the gunwale, towards the bow. And this actually could, would fold up um, this piece here that's just, uh, uh, it's lowered down because the engines are, are in the up position. And also plenty of storage for your gas and brushes and you name it, salt, fresh water wash down. Cockpit with uh, John, the owner, and basically here we have on um, both engines. There's a there's uh, the fuel separator, and there are the main fuel line, and then there's the auxiliary line. And uh, we believe that uh, one tank, the main tank, holds uh, 150 gallons, and the auxiliary holds 100. And, and on that, there's a, is there a switch or to pump? From one to the other, or is it just uh, how does it work? No, you just you just switch it over. There's a little. There's a little oh, so you just there. okay. Switch it over and and, and it'll go it, to the auxiliary. Yep, and then there's a switch on the on the front that'll tell you what, how much gas you have. Oh, really? Main okay, so you have a gauge that shows both. Yes. I'm gonna put in the Yamahas, getting them ready to get started. The start of the Yamaha. HPVI, 200 horsepower, two-stroke engines, half a click and started. And uh, really, just they, a half a turn just to get them going. Hey, John, just to put tap it in gear. Quiet. 
So it's not even any, what, when you put it, the transmissions are put in forward gear and reverse, everything is smooth. Hi, this is Captain Rob inside the 26 foot Grady White Express. And as you can see, there's uh, plenty of re uh, room in the forward berth, V berth, rod storage above. Uh, for dockside, you have uh, a microwave, you know, sink. And this is a, a view uh, from the helm station going into the cabin by the galley. Nice sink, pressurized water. Hey, John, is it both hot and cold, right? No, just, just oh, just cold, cold water? Cold, yeah. And you said you have a really nice nice sound system in here? Yes, I do. Oh, we might have to turn it on later. Okay. And this is the bathroom. And we have a sink, which uh, actually pulls out and could be a shower attachment to it. Um, lower cabinet. The head is oh, has a holding tank with a macerator pump on it. I believe it's, uh, and then also here you have uh, the GFI outlets when you're hooked up to shore uh, uh, power. Replaced last year. And the macerator pump was uh, replaced last season in 2015. And this is the galley floor and with more drawers on the uh, on the aft bulkhead and this is the actual little uh, compartment that has access to uh, the steering and some of uh, all the wiring and back to all the gauges and this is standing uh, in front of the galley heading in towards the bath and has you know sink toilet holding tank I need to find out as far as how many gallons the tank is little cabinet underneath for storage and there is an outlet for your 110 and it's basically from the sink if you look here that has a line from it as it doubles out for a shower on it in the, the cabin uh, by the forward fee berth all the way up front towards the bow and a huge storage compartment Could probably even convert that and, and put another fuel bladder or water bladder in if it, or maybe even a small generator back inside the cabin area the V berth just about the storage plenty of storage underneath the V-berth. Uh, there's actually on the port hand side a locker just like this one. I took some pictures. Then when there's uh, access to the back of the, the uh, steering helm station through this one locker. And we're moving towards uh, the galley. Sink. Hang on. Rod holders. Forward V berth. And then that's the anchor, you know, locker in the front. It's the cockpit. And uh, I didn't have, uh, I had a video last time of it and a couple pictures with the uh, transom gate down, but a lot more room when you have it up. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And you could actually, what, have two fish rod holders and your favorite beverage out back while you're trolling. Absolutely. And what I noticed, I think it was standard was only, did they put in an extra rod holder? Yes, they did. So on this. So basically, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight off just the back, off the gunnels. Correct. We got five, five in the rocket launchers and two on the side. So you really got seven... Uh, uh, patrol, patrol spread. And, uh, eight, nine here. So these are out here. So eight, nine on patrol. And how is it putting uh, the uh, Lee outriggers? Oh, easy. Easy. Very good. And I see what you have. You're going to throw in the camera too? If somebody I, uh, wants to. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to throw in the seats. <laughs> You'll throw in the seats? Yeah. He loves his camera because he has too many memories of that huge thresher shark that he caught the, uh, last week. Yeah. And what would you like to say? We're going to be ending off our video here in Point Pleasant, New Jersey. I'm going to be sad. I really am. I, she's a great boat.
She's a great, 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 great boat. I've had her for six years. And what's what's and our tagline for your boat? You know, we never come home. We, we always come. come we, you always, always come home with fish. Always come home with fish. Always. There we go. Always. Captain Rob and John signing off. Have a great day and a great Fourth of July.